Once again, you are welcome to this very wonderful uh, broadcast that the Lord has called his servant, the major prophet of God, to come and speak to the world and let everybody know about his power, his grace, his ability, and what he and he alone is capable of doing in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, today, the Lord is speaking to me about the final stage of Mazatlan and the Kano case. You know, most of you that are conversant with what is called the, the prophetic grace of God in my life, uh, call it uh, the most accurate prophecy on the face of the earth. The Lord has ways that he gives us his message direct. Because when the Lord begins to speak, you will know that this is God speaking, not human sense or human mind or human tautology or human ability. This is the ability of God and God alone. So it cannot be by human power or by human great, human ability. It is only completely on the power of the Holy Spirit of God. And once again, I'm still your prophet, prophet Dr. David King, Elijah, the major prophet of God. I want to now speak on what is called the final stage of Mazat Namdekanon's case. Uh, you know, so many of you now are wondering, ah, what is going on? Is it that the government is not accepting the court of law? The, 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 the court case, uh, the judgment, uh, or, the, or, the, or, the, or the Supreme Court judgment, or you call it the, the appeal court judgment, uh, what is it that is still happening? You know, when you come to what is called the precise prophecy and the accurate prophecy, it's quite unfortunate that many people don't really know what is called the accurate prophecy. You know, when the Lord begins to you know, reveal this matter and the major prophet of God comes out here, so now we begin to pass out the message the way it is written and the way it is in the realm of the Spirit. If you pay attention word by word, you will see that everything that is written there as the Holy Spirit begin to cause the major prophet of God to speak. He puts the word the way it is actually going to happen. He puts the word the way it, the thing is going to happen. And you know that the case of Mazat and Mekano and Nigerian government is like what is called uh, David and Goliath. And the one thing about David and Goliath's kind of battle is with, when Goliath is fighting David, he's not just fighting David, but he's also fighting the God of David. In other words, uh, the, the case that any uh, bigger institution or bigger body or bigger people or people that are richer or people that are wealthy are now trying to oppress uh, the common people or try to oppress uh, the little people and also try to you know, you know, make sure to subdue people and make them believe in what they believe or by force they must follow their ideology. God is not happy. And when God sees a matter like this, God steps in automatically and begins to help the needy, help the poor, help those that are marginalized, help those that have been oppressed because uh, I told you often and often, I said you must try everything possible for us to continue to remain on the side of those that have been oppressed, so that we can help those that have been oppressed to move out of oppression and move to the next level. Because when somebody is oppressed, you are indirectly telling God that this person is useless, supposed not to be created, supposed not to be on the face of the earth. And because you are oppressing the person, maybe the person doesn't have money, or maybe the person doesn't have the authority you have, or the person is not in position, God is the one to come and fight for the person. And so the case of Nambekan, when you see the Lord causing the major prophet of God to intercede and pray, because I know that this matter is what is called a David and Goliath fight. And David and Goliath fight means that David is the one that God will surely help and support. And Goliath will now use all his muscle to do everything at the end of it all. Goliath must bow to the God of David. Now, look at this matter, the way the matter is going. If you look at the spiritual realm, this matter is no more the Nigerian government. This matter is what's called the evil forces from the southeast. And when I say evil forces from the southeast, I am speaking because I am a major prophet of God. And God has given me the grace to be able to see beyond the human eye and also see what is called the spiritual world. And if you look at what is happening in the southeast, I see the southeast governors. And those people that claim that they are politicians, especially those that place that claim that they are in authority, they are the ones trying to manipulate things and trying to see how they can now cause what is called this man not to return to the southeast. 
but they are making huge mistakes because they should be able to know that at this point is no more the battle of flesh and law. It has become the battle of the spirit. And when something becomes the battle of the spirit, the spiritual takes over the battle and takes the battle to the next phase of what is called a spiritual intercession and those called spiritual, you know, jangaism. And when something enters to what is called spiritual jangaism, no human being can be able to comprehend. And then when I tell you what is called jangaism, I'm talking about the fight that the human cannot be able to fight inside. It becomes a battle that was called the spiritual fight, jangaism. That is the kind of God that will step into the battle of war. And when it comes to the war front, it begins to use what is called jangaism strength to now pull down those people that think they can stand. Because I'm seeing what's called the Southeast governors now teaming hands together and trying to, you know, because of the panic and terror, terror has gripped, gripped their heart. And they begin to say, oh, what, what kind, of, a, what kind of, of, of terror is this? What kind of uh, you know, fear is this? So they should know that this is what's called the time for what's called the supernatural jangaism to step into the battlefield and also prove to the world that there's what's called jangaism ability. To pull down and to stop every move of the devil. Because you see, this matter, believe it or not, the case is over. If you listen to the prophecy when the Lord was giving me the prophecy last year in the month of August, the Lord told me that it will enter in the month of October and the matter, case, will finish. And the case will finish in the mouth of the people that brought matter to court. And not just finishing. Now look at everything, look at where to gather and where to gather, there's nowhere to gather. Because the case has already completely finished. And what is finished is finished. I cannot repeat again. And so what I will advise is that the people in authority should quickly do the right thing. What does it take? Because some people will use what is called a little cough to now cause big problems. Because you look at, oh, <coughs> I don't want to cough, I don't want to cough, and then it becomes a big problem. Because of the little cough. You are shy for the little cough, then bigger cough will come. So we look at everything and I know that God is already in the business. People trying to now manipulate, oh, why should you people agree? You should not agree. It's in this that that this is not a battle of flesh and blood. It has turned to what's called spiritual jangaizing battle. And when it comes to spiritual jangaizing battle, it's only few people that is allowed to step into that realm to also see what is going on. And people like the major prophet of God and the people, the highly spiritual, to be able to peep into the spiritual world and see what is going on there. Those are the people that have been allowed to look at what is happening. So the second phase of this case and the final case and the final stage of this case is that everything is over. What is over is over. Huh? Broken bottle has no mequaterism. The case is over and the case is finished. And when the case is finished, it's finished indeed. And the Bible says, Whosoever the Son of Man shall set free, shall be free indeed. So what we should be praying for now and what we should be talking about is the way forward for all of us to now join hands together and see how to make ourselves and make the place a better place to be. For those people who don't understand what is called the power of prophecy, you know, you, you need to pay attention and come to what is called the school of prophecy to know what the Lord is using the major prophet of God to now do on the face of the earth. The Lord has a special assignment for the major prophet of God to continue to execute on the face of the earth. So when you see me doing what the Lord has called me to do and what I know how to do the best, don't think it's a play. It is what is called the spiritual endowment to now look at the realm of the spirit and bring to the surface exactly the way it is in the realm of the spirit. That Lord has revealed, the Lord has revealed to me, said, the month of October, and he went ahead and said, October, November, December, and thereabouts. So, you see, everything is going to properly settle. Because to wish and look at the heart of these people and what they are thinking in their heart, they will prefer that Muslim and the country should move back to London. Go back to London and stay there. But they don't know that this is no more the battle of human. It's called spiritual matter. God has taken charge. And when God takes charge, nothing human can do. Nothing flesh and blood can do. So, please, I want to advise you learn how to follow off the prophetic revelations that God is revealing to the major prophet of God so that you can be able to be aware and understand exactly what God is saying. And I want to applaud you to try your best to always share my broadcast 
so that more people will see these things before it begins to happen. Let the people know that yes, somebody is speaking. God is using somebody to speak. God is using somebody to tell us the future, to tell us what is going to be next. You know, many people don't know what we have. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's unfortunate that a lot of you don't know what you have. You know, if you know what you have, you will promote what you have. You will support what you have. You will push what you have. You will make sure that this that we have in our hand should go viral and go everywhere. Let the world see and know that there is a God in Israel. When David was meeting with Goliath and facing with Goliath, he said, Today, the Lord is going to deliver thee into my hand. Because you will know that there is a God in Israel. So we must all know that there is a God in our land, that God has given us a major prophet of God to always tell us the secret things that are written in the realm of the spirit and the spiritual world, so that the world can know that there is a God that is not a man. He is a God. He is not a man. He is the spiritual, the spiritual that controls the physical. So major prophet of God is in the business of always revealing the secret things. So all you need to do for me is to always share the broadcast. If you have not subscribed to my channel, Quickly do that, Possibility TV. Tell your friends, tell your brothers, tell your neighbors, share to your all your WhatsApp, all your contacts. Let them subscribe to this Possibility TV. And also Prophet David, Prophet Dr. David King Elijah. And also let them do everything possible to continue to follow me. And the you people that think that, oh, yeah, it's just a man of God, it's a prophet, it's a prophet of God. See, you don't know what God has given to you. If you know what God has given to you, my ministry, the ministry and possibility TV should be where you will put all your support, you will put all your ability, you will make sure that yes, you put this channel and this very possibility ministry, put it first. Let us join our hand. Our own is our own. Their own is their own. Our own remains our own. We are people of God and we continue to serve God in the spirit and in the truth. Thank you for watching. May the Lord bless you. I pray for you this hour, wherever you are. Let the hand of the Lord touch you and bless you. Release into your hands all your expectations. I don't know your expectation for this week. I don't know your expectation for this month. But everything that is your expectation, I declare that heaven give it to you. Whatever you've been praying and asking of the Lord, it is time to receive your miracle. In Jesus' name.